she's putting a spring into us deck with a creamy, cheesy, springy, springy, creamy, creamy cheesy. cheesy spring. <laughs> a it's creamy... macaroni cheese. Sorry, for everybody at home. It's a creamy spring green pasta. pasta. Bit. It's Love absolutely it. delicious. And what colour is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually cream. <laughs> is it? But it's got lots of green vegetables oh. within it. Um, so it's a pasta bake, perfect for a Monday night. Mm. It's like fresh and everything. But also, this would really stand up in a dinner party as well. So you're good to go. As, a, si as a kind of glamorous side. Yeah, kind of yeah. Two, you just two of you look so cute. You look like brother and sister kind of. We are wow. like brother and sister. <laughs> you are, you're like. I mean, we're like brother and sister. We are. You like bicker, squeeze. We bicker. Like you don't have we to be like afraid of me. Come over. Oh, can we? Who like squeeze? Oh, like that's this, nice. Like... Oh, oh I'll right. come over. Um, and we'll have to touch what? anything. Bechamel. I might get you help. Big. Okay, so bechamel sauce is the first thing on the list when you're making it. Yeah. First, you make a roux, which is melted butter and flour. It comes together like a paste. We've yeah. done that on the show a few like times. A roux. Yeah, me too. I do like roux. And then you basically the old Danny. whisk in, <laughs> whisk in. It looks like a paste when it comes together. And then you whisk in your milk, and that's what makes a bechamel sauce. Okay, like that. And then what I love doing, I put in a little bit of nutmeg. So oh, a bechamel sauce nutmeg. just a white sauce. Though. Is that just a different name for a white yeah, sauce? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then to make bread sauce with it, you add in breadcrumbs into it and to make a cheese sauce, you add in cheese sauce into oh, it. Yeah. So when you're training as a chef... This is the this important thing, isn't is it? It's one of the master sauces that you yeah. learn, because you can do so many things from, from yeah. this. And literally, we always have a little bit of butter and flour and milk at home. Exactly. You know? I, always, I think I panic sometimes when I see the roux and it just, when it goes into that uh, kind of... Uh, proper pasty form, but you shouldn't know. Then you add the milk then and... Yeah, exactly. And then you just keep whisking and whisking. So for every creamy or milky or, you know, sauce, white sauce, I always put in some nutmeg. Oh. Just a little bit. And what that does, it just kind of, like, it takes the heaviness out of it. It kind of loosens it up and spices it up a little bit. Mm. The other thing I always do as well is, if I wasn't doing nutmeg, I'd put a squeeze of lemon juice into it. So if you've ever made, like, a really rich, creamy sauce and you're like, well, it's quite, like, heavy and gloopy, squeeze a lemon. That's what they all do in the restaurants. Ah. Yeah, there's my tip. Anyhow, yes. so that's that. And then over here, then, I've got shallots. Is that I've a bay got... leaf you just stuck in there, a lemon? Sorry, a bay leaf. Yeah. Didn't I not say that? Sorry. A bay leaf. And whenever you're using a bay leaf, just... A little tear. Give it a tear. Oh, just that like just gets the aroma out? And it gets, lets the aroma out. Wow. It's a really good plant to grow, because then you never have to buy them. Do you and know? they grow all year round. When Holly and Dan got married, they gave out, you know, the little, um, what they call them, um, tribute. Is that tribute? Like or... a little um, present. A little present for everyone. Favour, that's Favours. it. Favours. And they... Um, what was the favour? The favour was a, a bay tree, a little <gasps> bay leaf tree. Oh! And we planted it, and it's now massive. Oh, it's still coming out. God, yeah, it's thriving. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely that is so thriving. cool. So I use it for cooking all the time, that bay leaf. That is so cool. Thanks, Holly. Um... Thank you. <laughs> She's done it again. <laughs> so I've got shallots that I've um, softened down for about, like, five minutes. And shallots are brilliant to use here because... They're my favourite onion. I like much prefer than the regular onion because they're sweet, they're translucent, they taste so yeah. good. They really bring something to the dish. Um, so I, I love got peas. Oh, yeah, I love peas. me too. They're, so they're the me greatest, too. aren't they? Yeah. I love my peas son too. hates peas. Does oh, he? Hate that. No, you failed Does as a he? peas. Yeah, I did fail massively. <laughs> Doesn't like fish and peas. Like what? Does he like and peas. them mushed up? No. I have to get the sweet ones involved. Exactly. Okay, so, <laughs> so this could this would be a really good dish for you guys. So maybe you instead of the peas, you could put in your asparagus. Just yeah, chop maybe. them up into small little pieces. Yeah. They do that. And then um, and then these are broad beans. Both of these are actually frozen, so you can get them from the freezer. Da da da. And then you just cook them just for a frozen veg is so good, isn't it? Frozen I cook veg frozen veg all the yeah, time. Yeah, you can't get fresh and absolutely. And then okay, into my bechamel sauce. Then over here, I'm going to put in the um, spinach. So lots of spinach. I, I love how when you put spinach thing. in a dish, you go, oh, Matt, have I put too much in? And then literally two minutes later, there's nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. <laughs> so true. It's like, where is it gone? <laughs> I like that about spinach. Huh? I you... like that about spinach. Yeah. Though. That it will stand. Lovely, yeah. It does its own thing, doesn't it? Yeah. It does do it own, doesn't, nah, it does its own thing. OK, then loads of Parmesan cheese. This now, is now a talk. lot. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. How much is that, Cloda? Uh, um, that would be... a. About 100 grams wow. of Parmesan cheese all grated in. up. But it does need it. And this is a really big pasta dish. Yeah. yeah. How so many would this feed, Claudia? This would feed about, I think, about eight people. Wow. Oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah. So I it's mean, not that much cheese, really, once you've people. had your portion. No. no, exactly. No, it's not, actually. Well pointed out. And then I've got some buffalo mozzarella Ooh, that I'm going to add to. I'm going to keep half of it. Excuse my fingers. 
for the end of it and then half it for in here. And you know how it gets all gooey and like I love it. Stringy. stringy yeah. I love it. I oh, love it. Geez. Okay, so and that goes and that kind of melts down a little bit. This then... is very easy and actually quite therapeutic to make. Yes. It's it a really nice recipe. I like yes. this. Such a good point. So it, it seems like quite a nice thing yeah. to do. Yeah, you could have this with your guests already there. Yeah. Chatting Guys, to get yourself another drink. Yeah. I'm just over yeah. here in the kitchen. A little glass of wine. <laughs> yeah, vibe, yeah. I've got three herbs that I'm putting in, but if people are watching home and thinking, oh my God, how am I going to have three herbs? You could just pick one yeah. and put them in. I've got yeah, marjoram. If you had to pick one, what would you pick? Probably the marjoram. We don't use a lot of marjoram in this country, so maybe I'd pick the marjoram. It's really lovely. So I've got margarine. I'm smelling the mint. <laughs> That's actually mint, not margarine. <laughs> the margarine smells so good. No, no ants around here. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's right. And also wasps, right? Mint yeah, wasps. Know, right? Yeah. We didn't get um, to wasps. So we learned so much in this place. I know. Week. We'll do, we'll do wasps for next week. <laughs> Flat leaf parsley. And yeah. then this is the margarine. Um, oh, it's so good, the margarine. I love it. You can actually one. smell it even in just the bowl, even though the. What would you use margin with, like, like as well in normal? Oh, cooking. like um, in Italy. When I lived in Italy, you'd always use it a lot in um, like for buffalo mozzarella and tomato salads. Really good. Yeah, it's lovely. Gorgeous. So aromatic. Okay, what have I got to do next? Okay, these go all in here, and this is what I quite love about it. I mean, oh, so you're going to put the peas in? I'm going to put the peas in the, the broad beans, beans the, and the shallots in here, and I think that. People are always asking me, you know, like about tips for you know, you've got people coming over and they get stressed out, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Like making a really big dish like this is so gorgeous. It's lovely. It's what we all actually really want. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, isn't it? We want to be relaxed. Yeah. You want yeah. a relaxed host. You want something. And you don't want no stress. You want everyone to take what you want. And that's yeah. It. Yeah. You go to a restaurant for restaurant food. You go to somebody's exactly. home for home cooking. Definitely. Food. Yeah. Um, out comes the um, the bay leaf. No, that's a spinach. Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, it's got a needle in the haystack time it. now. I got well, it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. But there'll be some smart Alec there, and I'll be like, "Oh, she put in two. Well, I can't find the second one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. No one will know. Be a crunchy I'm bit of spinach. Kidding. Just fine. Crunchy bit of spinach. And then I've got my pasta pre-cooked. This is macaroni, which I just love. It all yeah, just makes me feel like great. a kid. Yeah. yeah, me too. Never grow out of it, do you? Never grow out Never of grow it. Never grow out of it. My um, son loves that. Yeah. Yeah. Does he? <laughs> yeah. Okay, love it. Chloe, would you, but you, could you ever use... stick some chicken in there if you wanted to do a bit of you meat? You could put a little bit of chicken in there. Or something. Absolutely. If you had I can see salmon in there. Oh. oh, yeah. I don't know why. A bit of salmon. Yeah. I really can see that. You look, there's the cook coming out on you. I yeah, know. absolutely. So nice. You can do anything you want, can't you? You can do. I use macaroni here, but you could use a farfalle. Like my accent, the penne. Oh, you lovely. could, you know, any bite-sized pizza. But this kind of, yeah, this kind of pasta you, uh, dish, you always want a bit. You, it's got to be macaroni, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. macaroni. Yeah. It's so nice, and then just really mix it all well together. Yeah, I'd just oh, be happy if someone just sent me that. It's heaven, isn't it? Yeah. And then mix it all together, and then into one big dish, which we all oh, just get love. Get it in, Clodagh. Get it in. Oh, look at it in. But that, it's not finished yet. It's got a little, oh, here it is. Look. We got it. Can we get a oh, drum well roll? Done. You got Ta -da. it. There you go. Drum roll. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you obviously didn't think it was as important as I did. <laughs> okay, and then you just spread it out. <laughs> spread it out a little bit. <gasps> Sorry, oh, ever, ever since delicious. you announced, you know, like the, the strip Street of dancing on the last cookery like, crazy? My Twitter is like, bing, 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 <laughs> Everyone bing, wants it to happen, right? All these, all these like, little kind of gifs of, like, people dancing. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, <laughs> Cloda. Bye, right, Cloda. So, thanks for that. Oh, more we're cheese. On the, we're on the clock now, Cloda. More, no, more cheese. Breadcrumbs. Okay, breadcrumbs. Oh, it's breadcrumbs. breadcrumbs. I thought okay. it was cheese. <laughs> okay, we, I'm nearly there, guys. Don't worry. You know, I'll always get it finished. A little bit of mozzarella, that looks okay? Lovely. A little bit of butter, melted butter. Just pour it all oh, over nice our top. One, okay, like that. And then it goes into the oven. Or you can, you know, if it's a Friday and you're serving this on a Saturday night for your dinner party, um, it could go into the fridge. Wait until then, when it's cooled down. Sorry, get it in. Get it in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like the Irish in me. I can't just bake something. I've got to tell like We'd never ever stories guess that. about it. Okay. Oh, it's right. beautiful. It Thank you to, so much. It goes into the oven for 20 minutes. That's an important one. Do you uh, just remember, it? all these details are on our This Morning app. Before we go. There's <laughs> loads. I'm having a